The first irrigation during germination is critical for the success of the entire crop. Moisture is the trigger for germination. So keeping a good level of moisture in the soil after sowing is key to getting good germination percentage and good crop stand, giving your seedlings the best start possible. Moisture can come from two sources, rain or irrigation. If you can count on rain for germination, that's perfect. But if not, then you need to know how much to irrigate. What we've noticed is that when growers use precision irrigation for the first time, they tend to under-irrigate in early crop stages, which can sometimes lead to low germination rates or poor crop stand. So what are the basic rules for getting it right? The most important thing to remember is that the first irrigation is not like standard ongoing irrigation. It's completely different. With ongoing irrigation, the goal is to irrigate according to the field's water consumption or evapotranspiration. But with the first irrigation, the goals are to A. Ensure the seeds have sufficient available moisture in their immediate surroundings, which means wetting the topsoil layer. And B. Bringing the soil profile to field capacity, which is typically to a depth of 90 centimeters. Doing this will allow you to manage moisture throughout the season and avoid any deficits. To bring the soil profile to field capacity and to ensure the top layer has good moisture, you need to irrigate in two to three intervals of 20 to 40 millimeters each, with a spacing of two to three days in between each application. This will allow you to give the soil the right amount of water while achieving good water absorption and avoiding runoff. If you're using a full coverage system like a sprinkler system, you'll find it easier to get the top layer uniformly wet. But if you're using a drip irrigation system, to get a uniformly wet top layer, you'll need to use a slightly larger amount of water, reaching 120 millimeters as you want to make sure the soil is continuously moist at the top level. If you're using subsurface drip and your topsoil layer is dry, water will need to move upward towards the surface. So start irrigating five to seven days before sowing to make sure of good top layer wetting. We've just spoken how to reach field capacity, but how do you know when you've actually got there? Well, the best way is to sample the soil after each application to make sure the soil is properly wetted. If the moisture seems sufficient and the profile is full, you can stop. If there's any runoff or logged water on the soil surface, you're probably over irrigating. Know your soil type. This is going to help you determine how much you need to irrigate for profile filling. So here's the key takeaway. When it comes to irrigation for germination and irrigation for profile filling, you're going to require larger amounts of water. And the usual evapotranspiration rules don't apply. Instead, you're going to need to plan according to your soil type and current moisture status and monitor while irrigating until you reach that sweet spot of field capacity and a uniformly wet top layer.